Oh, it was so frustrating. I had to send this video to Brian Young of High Impact Flicks because my channel was under suspension for 90 days. And this was a, a prosecutor that basically compared the cops in West Texas to deliverance. If you haven't seen that live stream, it's, it's pretty good. Um, it's, it's really better when you're watching it live. If you guys want me to do a video on this West Texas uh, story with an update, I have more information about the cops and where they are now and what's going on. If you guys want an update on that, um, leave some comments down there in, uh, in the comment section and, and tell me that you'd like to see it or now nah, you've heard enough of this case. Um, I'd like to thank Brian because Brian, um, of High Impact Flicks, he did this uh, Twitter thing to, at Team YouTube. Uh, I had already appealed my, my 90 day suspension strike, one strike for hate speech, and, um, and, and it was denied. Uh, so his campaign plus an email that I sent in, I guess it resonated with somebody. But anyway, I didn't get to put this video up, which was, which was Cuomo Nostra. I know that you guys have seen this, but this is Tony Soprano taking Cuomo Nostra to task. Check it out. Please spread this around. <laughs> we have brand new video just into CNN tonight. It, I want you to see something tonight because it's a window into what goes on through somebody's head who wants to do something like this. I thought, that, I thought, I thought that's who you were. No, oh. punk ass bitches from the right call me freedom. Uh-huh. My name is Chris Cuomo. I'm an anchor on CNN. Oh. It's values today. Standards are crumbling. But Fredo is from the Godfather. He was our weak brother. I can handle things. I'm smart. Not like everybody says. Like dumb. I'm smart and I want respect. <laughs> and they use it as an Italian excursion. Any of you Italian? You know what it is? I'll tell you what it is. Anti-Italian discrimination. Oh, you Italian? It's a fucking insult to your people. It's an insult to your fucking people. It's like the N word for us. Maybe he feels marginalized. Marginalized? What the fuck does that even mean? Wow. So, is that a cool fucking thing? You're a much more reasonable guy in person than you seem to be on television. Yeah, but if you want to play, then we'll fucking play. If you got something not? you want to say about what I do on television, then say it. I'll be a fool to you. Hey, man, hey, talk. listen. As I was flying over the lake, I was thinking about Fredo. It's tough. What? Oh, what? Yeah, you're going to have a big fucking problem. Don't give me that smart out of your shit. It's a little different on TV. Let's don't fucking insult me like that. I didn't insult you. You fucking call me Fredo. It's like I call you punk bitch. You like that? You want that to be your nickname? I didn't call you that. You call me Fredo. You know my name's not fucking Fredo. You did not think my name was fucking Fredo. Don't be a liar. You want to be a man. Stand up like a man. You want to be a man out here. They're fucking on it. They're on what you said. They're on what you said. Listen, I have a problem with you. You're going to have a fucking problem. What are you going to do about it? I'll fucking throw you. I'll fucking throw you down these stairs like a Fucking you don't gotta love me, but you will respect me. Yeah. Come Come on, so you you don't like Sue? You don't like so fucking Sue? Why don't you take a swing? Why don't you call me Fredo? Take a fucking swing. Take a fucking swing. Watch your fucking hands. I don't want to crack the notes, but I will. I'm gonna feel the anger. Take a swing. Watch your fucking hands. Take a swing. Come on, come on, boy. You wanna call me shit? Call me shit, man. Maybe we gotta just whack this prick. I'm not fucking here. I'm fucking wreck your shit. Let's take them down to Pine Barrens. That's South Jersey. It's perfect. It's fucking deserted down the shit. We take them in the woods, dig a hole, end the story. I got a shovel I use for digging the car out. I'll fucking wreck your shit. Stop. You didn't know what you were doing. I thought it was your case. The whole thing is misunderstood. I thought it was your name. You didn't know, right? You didn't know what you were saying, right? I thought it was your name. Hey, look at all these cameras. You're in for it. You're in for it. I'm in for what? You're in for it. 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 You're
Also interesting is remember, it's illegal to possess uh, these stolen documents. It's different for the media. So everything you learn about this, you're learning from us. If she does take quite a while longer, what happens to other folks who want to chance problem. to run against her? Because she's doing what they call in politics, freezing pockets. Because the donors are giving her money thinking she's going to run. That means they're not going to have available money for other exactly. candidates if she doesn't. And I don't think she's going to give it to them. She's on her way to deciding. We'll see. About deciding. We couldn't help her any more than we have. <laughs> I know. You know what I mean? She's, she's I got just a free ride so far from the media. We're the biggest ones promoting her campaign. So, gotcha, bitch. We couldn't help her any more than we have. I know. You know what I mean? She's, she's I know. got just a free ride so far from the media. We're the biggest ones promoting her campaign. No oh, shit. The president of the United States, for crying out loud. I mean, look what his wife had to put up with, with the blowjobs and the stained dress. Hillary Clinton? I can't stand that woman. I know. Maybe we could all take a page from her book. What, to be humiliated in public and then walk around smiling all the time? That is so false. I would dig a hole, I would climb into it, and I would not come out. I thought it was your name. You didn't know, right? Hey, you didn't know what you were saying, right? I thought it was your name. Hey, thanks, folks, for tuning in to this video. And uh, like I told you before, um, leave a leave a message for me in the comments. Let me know if you want me to cover um, that. Those cops, the deliverance cops, is, is basically what we're calling them. Talk about some backwater, uh, crazy people there, you know. Uh, visit rtrtruthmedia.com, smash on that PayPal button, and uh, for any donation over twenty dollars, uh, we will send you a, a complimentary for your uh, thank you for your donation, a copy, a hardcover copy of Eustace Mullins' Secrets of the Federal Reserve. And, uh, you know, I know that a lot of you guys that, that watch High Impact uh, do uh, tune in here, too. And I know that you saw that live stream. But I, I would like to um, let you know that there is uh, two of the cops that were involved in that were fired. But there's a, 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 a real hook to it. They were actually rehired back somewhere else. And, and that's that's a whole nother problem. Um I just can't understand, you know, usually when you get fired from a profession like that, you, should, you would think that you should move on to other things, like maybe being a dog catcher or something like that. But anyway, so leave your, your thoughts in, in the in the comments section below if you'd like to see me cover that or what you'd like to see me do next. I have also um, Chuck Carlson, a friend of Eustace Mullins. We're going to be doing some work together in the future as well. Tom Lackabare Stewart, RTR Truth Media, signing out.